we got a bag review today. For those of you who don't know me, welcome to the channel. For those of you who have been following for a little while, welcome back. Uh, my name is David Samwell. You probably saw that in the name. Uh, you call me Dave, David, Dave Sam. Today I'm going to start a new recurring segment on my channel about bag reviews. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but as of right now, it's going to be called Samwell's Bag Reviews, I guess. And today we're going to be starting with the Arc Light Sling from Boundary Supply. Now, Boundary Supply is a company that was born on Kickstarter with the Prima system, another bag that I'll also probably review on this channel. Since then, they have launched three or four different Kickstarter campaigns, all of which have been wildly successful. The Aaron Bag, Chase Pants, uh, now their Aeris Travel system. What's interesting about Boundary Supply is that each and every one of the bags they make are completely modular. They have tons of accessories and those accessories are built specifically for their bags. So they fit in perfectly, magnetize, do certain things to clip in specifically, uh, such that that bag is going to work perfectly with that accessory. The other cool thing about Boundary Supply is that they use materials and processes that are Blue Sign certified. And I'll leave a link to what Blue Sign certified actually means, but Overall, it basically means that they use production and materials that meet specific environmental standards, which I think for all of us in today's day and age, especially for quality items, we want to see that we're not impacting the environment too badly, poorly, wrongly, wrongly. The first bag from Boundary Supply that we're going to take a look at is the Arc Light Sling. And this is an eight to 15 liter expandable sling bag. And a sling just means it's going to attach over one shoulder. It also has a nice attachment point, second attachment point that comes underneath your other arm just to keep it a little more secure if you're riding a scooter or a bicycle or something. It's not going to swing over in front of you if it's a little heavy. This one in particular is made out of X pack materials. You can see kind of that X shaped pattern that comes through. I'm going to hide my face there. You can see that kind of X-shaped pattern that comes through. And X-Pack is really cool because it's a little bit extra waterproof. It's also slash resistant. So for thinking about safety, I live in a city here. Uh, sometimes I ride the train and other things like that. People are always trying to get in your bag. Um, so then that slash resistant isn't the worst thing to have. The main feature of the bag is this flop compartment here, which is pretty big. It's where you're gonna see some of that expandability and you can see inside this one it's lined with this kind of yellow material which makes it a little bit easier to see in the bag and you can hear those magnets snapping into place in and out of place there they're just attached on the sides here and there's two more on the bottom that will take this from 8 to 15 liters really squeezing it down on your back just look at it on my back here it's a nice flat profile the bag also features four zippers, each of which is AquaGuard sealed, which is really nice if you're going to be caught out in the rain. Again, if you walk around a lot, if you're in a city or you have an electric vehicle of some kind, uh, you're going to be exposed pretty often. And a bag with X-Pack materials or, and or with these AquaGuard zips is really going to help protect anything that you have inside. Now, it's not submergible or anything like that. You don't want to dunk it in big puddles or water, uh, but if you do get caught out in the rain, you should be okay. It also features these four loops around the front of the bag, which you can use kind of G-hook like strings or G-hook like materials um, to attach specific things to the outside of the bag. So if you had straps that had G-hooks on the end, you could attach them in kind of any orientation on the outside of the bag and carry something like a yoga mat or a skateboard perhaps. This bag in particular also comes in four colors. Uh, a kind of brownish color, which I actually don't like. Uh, a blue, which is pretty nice. A uh, black that are all normal Cordura. Uh, and then this X-Pack black material. It also has three handles around the outside of the bag, each of which does make it a little bit easier to just sling around and carry uh, or throw around, depending on obviously what's inside the bag when you're out about and using it. It also has these two smaller zippers at the front on either side, and this pocket we'll get into in a second, but can be accessed from either side. What's nice about this bag is it can be worn left or right-handed, 
um, with just unhooking these G hooks and then reattaching them on the other side. So if you did want to wear it over your left shoulder or over your right shoulder, depending on the orientation that you want to swing it over. I think one of my favorite things about this bag is it's super clever use of magnets just everywhere. So the main compartment is accessed by a Fidlock magnet. In the main compartment there are four different magnets which define the expandability. So you can kind of hear those opening and closing. They sit right in this flap here and then two more sit on either side of these flaps here. Around the back side of the bag, we have this magnet, which is the one that clips underneath your arm. And then there's another fid lock here that actually it attaches just the same way as the main compartment. And this is for the main strap. Let's talk a little bit about the back of the bag and how comfortable it is. It has this really nice ribbed foaming and a super thick strap so and it's actually an edgeless strap on top of that so there's not going to be any edge that's kind of digging in extra or any um, trimming that's digging in extra from the strap this is actually really comfortable to wear all day i have taken this out for hours and hours at a time literally from night to the end of the day on my scooter around chicago and it is really comfortable to carry. I will say though, it doesn't have a really good back channel overall. It's there, but it's just not really thick, right? This foam padding is nice and comfortable, but it doesn't protrude out from the back of the bag that much. So you definitely will feel the sweat in the summer. Let's jump into the pockets of the bag. It has four main pockets uh, along the entire bag. Let's start on the back here with the tech compartment. As you can see, this one is nigh wool line so it's got this nice feeling kind of felt wool composite material and then it also has this yellow liner so again it's pretty easy to see anything inside the bag uh, in this yellow liner it's got some of these elastic loops and these elastic loops are really nice for especially if you're carrying your ipad in this tech pocket keeping something like your ipad pen or other pens uh, i think the intention of this bigger one is for some sort of some type of battery. Uh, it has a loop here, a cable pass-through loop here, uh, so that you can pass some cable through. It's going to fit about a 13-inch iPad or laptop, which is the absolute max capacity. I've tried fitting a 15-inch in here and it really just won't close um, unless you're willing to really strain the zippers, but then you're going to be sacrificing some of that AquaGuard seal uh, that comes with these zippers, so I wouldn't want to do that. The other thing is that it has a bit of a false bottom. Uh, I'm feeling it out here. It's probably about two finger widths overall, uh, which is gonna be nice if you are carrying a laptop or an iPad here. And you can be pretty confident that if you set it down, it's not gonna crash either of those products. The next pocket we'll talk about is kind of a secret compartment at the top of the bag. It's got a nice zipper pull here. Also has a nice kind of little garage in addition to the AquaGuard zip. So it's extra, extra safe. This one has no yellow lining, but it is completely that felt or nywool lining, uh, which is gonna be a great place if you're holding some of your smaller tech items, if you've got headphones, your phone, uh, maybe other items like sunglasses that you wanna keep and keep scratch free. Uh, I think that's one of the nicest things about this kind of nywool material is that it's gonna keep everything really, really fresh. This is a pretty big pocket. You can see it on the inside, but as you can see, it kind of fits my entire hand all the way to the wrist here so it can fit quite a lot in here usually when i'm out especially if i'm carrying a ton of camera gear uh, i throw something like my light in here uh, potentially my microphone depending on the setup that i have jumping one more compartment forward we're going to go into the main compartment here and what's nice about this main compartment is that this is the expandable compartment you can see in here it's completely lined with this yellow material uh, at least on this x pack one which makes it a lot easier to see it's got all of that magnetization so um, for me in particular i pretty much use it always at the 15 liter capacity if i take it out you can see these magnets on the bottom are going to clip in as well and it's going to become a much slimmer bag overall so if you're not carrying a ton of stuff this might be the bag for you but 
I think one of the other things is that in the eight liter category, seven, eight liters, you're going to find other slings that are going to be a little more tech heavy uh, or competitive for that size. You know, if you're going for something eight liters, unless you are really only carrying your iPad, uh, this sling might be a little bit of overkill. But this main compartment is pretty big. And again, expanding to 15 liters does make it a lot better. You can put a jacket in here. I pretty much always keep my Gorilla Pod and my camera strap in there. Uh, oftentimes I will throw my camera right on top now. I'm living a little bit dangerously. This main compartment is not super padded or anything. It doesn't have a camera cube in it. Um, I don't throw this bag around when I carry my camera in it. Pretty much just keep it on my back. But, you know, your mileage may vary. You might not want to put something as nice as, you know, your mirrorless or your DSL car. DSLR camera in here, uh, but I like to do it, especially when I'm carrying a lot of my camera gear, because this can be a pretty minimal tech kit if you're going to be pretty careful with it, which I usually am. The one thing the main compartment is, I would say, missing is just another little zippered pocket or even mesh kind of drop pocket in here that will allow you to keep some stuff at the top of the bag. Pretty much everything just keeps falling to the bottom of the bag, which is fine. I mean, it's a standard roll top bag. On the outside, this isn't really a pocket, but we also have some more nylon loops, which if you've got like a bike lock or something, one of those U -like bike, U-lock bike locks, uh, you can dive or put on here really easily without having to take up room in any of the main compartments. The last compartment we're gonna take a look at is on the front here, and it is actually a compartment that can be accessed from either side. So this is a full pass through. And this is nice because when you're wearing it on, again, either shoulder, you can pass through and have pretty easy access to this compartment. That being said, that's pretty much where the niceness of this compartment goes. This is my least favorite compartment by far. It doesn't have a lot of dimension. Overall, the pockets are a little small. And then it has six of these nylon loops that... I can't even really pass my finger through. They're all so small. I have no idea what the actual use of these is. So as you can see, I pretty much just throw everything in this pocket and close it. And I pretty much keep it to cables and the battery pack that I carry on a regular basis. I don't throw a ton else in here because I don't find a ton of use in that pocket. All right, so we have kind of a semi top down view here. I don't have like a big rig up that way. I just have a, a nice little tripod here. I wanted to give everybody a little bit of a view of what I like to carry in this bag. I'm gonna show my everyday carry and not my camera carry. I am using my camera right now, so I can't really show my camera carry, but let's take a quick look through the bag. So in the main compartment, and this one's gonna be pretty quick. I just keep one thing right now, and this is my pack away jacket. In this front compartment, and again, this is the one that I said has pretty much useless pockets, all I keep is a battery bank and a handful of wires, a couple of USB-Cs, uh, and one lightning cable. Up top in the secret compartment, this is where most of my stuff is kept. This is really my truly everyday carry, things that I'm going to access truly really quickly. Uh, Rover kit from Carryology and the James brand. Cool little kit, comes with tools and a pen. Interesting, nice little carrying case. Wallet and AirPods, essentials for every day. Keys, dude wipes, gotta have those. And a receipt that is trash. Yeah, that's everything I keep in there. Last but not least, we're going to go to the tech or the laptop pocket. I keep my old iPad Pro 10 inch as well as my Apple Pencil. I don't use these top loops. Like I said, I, I think they're just a little too small for any of the batteries that I have. Um, so I can't really use this feature of the top loops and this uh, pass through here. And that is everything that I keep in my everyday carry. And honestly, this isn't even close to packed out, as you can see here. I'm not even using these top expansion magnets. I've got it cinched all the way down, basically. So there's plenty of room left, so you could fit a ton more in this bag. All right, time to get to the conclusions. You'll notice I am wearing a different shirt. I am on day two of shooting. I'm trying to get used to actually shooting every day after work, or at least most days after work. It definitely takes a little getting used to, but... 
it's something that I will master at some point. For this bag, I've really been using the Arcnight Arclight Sling pretty much daily, unless I need more space for some reason. But I find myself coming to this bag more and more often. I think the size, the profile is just so nice and slick. Um, for me in particular, I like to scoot a lot or use, you know, e e-bikes and things like that. So I'm pretty much always alternatively getting around. And because of that alternate getting around, I'm always interacting with cars. So I try to make my profile as small as possible while I'm out on the road. And when I can do that, or with this bag, I can absolutely do that. And the nice under sling that we've talked about a couple of times really helps keep it flat to my back. The only couple of discounts I would say that I have on this bag are two things. One, it has no water bottle pocket. And I semi understand that partially because of the way that it collapses down on itself uh, and creates that eight to 15 liter, liter capacity. Uh, you can't really put a water bottle pocket on either side, but it would have been nice to see them figure something out. The other thing is, honestly, even though I do use this pretty much every day and I put my camera in it, it's probably not that safe and secure to put my camera in it exposed in this bag, especially in the main compartment. There's really nothing protecting it unless I create a barrier around it, and that's not gonna be super secure. It's a sweater or something like that. So I am still looking for a sling that provides a little more of that camera friendly carry that also has that flat profile. When you look at the Peak Design or the Moment bags, um, or the moment and the peak design slings, they're just kind of frumpy. They're not for me. I don't really think that they look all that good, even though they may have that more rugged design that is gonna add that protection for your camera. So I'm still looking out for one bag, one sling to rule them all to give me that daily carry and that camera bag but we'll see what I find. All right, thanks for watching the inaugural bag review on my channel, Dave Sam Productions, uh, bag reviews by Dave Sam, Samwell Baggins. I proposed this at work uh, with a few of my colleagues and I pretty much just got roasted for my name and uh, wanted to review bags. So thanks for watching all the way till the end. Please feel free to leave a comment below. Please like, subscribe, do any of those things if you want to. See you guys on the next one. Okay, that didn't work.